It's Tuesday. Got new fish coming in. So right over here we got a bunch of cichlids ready to go upstairs. Also got a bunch of little black ghost knives. One of my favorite oddball fish. Silver dollars. The Demonsonai. Got this gigantic silver arowana. This guy's so much bigger than most of the ones we get in. Got a little uh, red tail cat right below him. This guy is a beast. This guy's really good. Man. He got, he got experience. You know? <laughs> See, very really easy for him. Yeah. Uh, give me a small cup. I get some. So this is how you catch a, that big of a fish out. You gotta and use garbage right bags. Away, <laughs> I'm gonna double bag them up. So one bag already doubled in the bucket already. So they were not uh, ripped open. This is how you bring this big of a fish over. <laughs> keep them in the tub. That is a big arowana. So up here in the old, uh, amphibian area, got a pixie frog. Pretty neat little guy. It's more of the least killies that I always bring in. I breed a bunch at home. Pretty much out of those, I gotta bring some in. Got an albino Pac-Man. We got a green Pac-Man. And we've got some uh, gardener Achilles here. Some zebra crayfish. Humid in here. Some vampire crabs. Pretty much the usuals that we have a lot of. Another new thing we got in though, some betta cochinas, the wild bettas. Kind of hiding under some catapa leaves. And then a chocolate Suriname horned frog. Kind of looks like a hypno toad from Futurama. Got some more different colored crayfish. And some snow white ones. And over in the community area, we've got our usual guppies, platies, nothing too special, some glowfish. One of the new things we got in, I ended up already bringing most of them home, but here in the assorted tetras, you can see some green fires. They're still coloring up in the center, that green guy with a little bit of red and white beneath them. Once they color up, they're absolutely beautiful. I'll uh, splice in, or at the end, I'll show what they look like when they color up fully at my house, because I have a handful of them. Monos, some Bolivian rams, and uh, some clown loaches. But over here, start to get more interesting. Got some little baby peacock bass, Odessa barbs, two gold barbs in there, uh, some uh, iridescent sharks, some rainbow sharks. And some pink tail chalcius back there. Up here, you got a Payara saber tusk uh, barracuda. Some nice flower horns, as usual. A little Thai blue, nah, Thai blue silk flower horn. Cute little guy. Got a platinum giardini. Bunch of little baby red tail cats. And they should be a Makana zebra knife if I 
guess somebody bought it out before I could even... No, I see it back there. Yep, there we go. The Makana zebra knives are beautiful. Really interesting fish to watch. Then just got some royal knives. Regular clown knives. Nice arapima, arapima. Uh, African hepatitis tiger fish. These guys are pretty vicious, especially when they get larger. I don't know if you can get them to turn around, their teeth get incredibly sharp. Pea puffers. Little red belly paku babies some Tamensis bass. These guys are always fun to feed. They go wild. And we got uh, albino silver arowana. We got a little baby black arowana in here as well. We got a nice pair of flower horns here. We have a female right here, a male over there. This looks like a, a pair that a customer had been breeding and brought in. So if you're looking to get a pair that's already matched up and not gonna tear each other apart, you got them in. 150 for a, a mated pair is not bad at all. Got your average little silver arowana. Right, next to it, we got some uh, Indo tiger datanoids. Over here, you got a red tail brycon. Some little panda garus. Then down here, you got a big old gold tiger datanoid. It's beautiful. And next to it, got an African Odo Pike and then an albino clown knife. Pretty rare to see an albino clown knife. The gold ones are pretty common, but the albinos definitely a lot less common. Pretty awesome. Not usually a clown knife fan, but always awesome seeing something rare. Got the, another platinum giardini next to a bunch of green spotted puffers and figure eights. They came in with a bit of uh, see a fungus. I've been treating them. I keep having to pull them out and treat them separately. Hopefully we can get that cleared up. And over here, got a whole bunch of little autos bunch of uh, crystal red and crystal blacks alongside some different colored neos and of course the cherries Just swarming all over some assassin snails a whole lot of cherries and amanos some good looking amanos some nice cheap ghost shrimp. Uh, over here at the quarry wall, we got a neon orange uh, striped Aeneas quarry next to a Fowleri quarry. It's not one that I'm very familiar with, but we just got it in today. We got a gold green quarry, some little pandas, I guess only one little panda left. Longfin Aeneas. Got some red sailfin Venezuelas. Nanas quarries. Virginia and uh, Reticulatus quarries. And yeah, some Julies. All kinds of quarries in here. 
The Similus Corys are definitely really nice. These ones are young, they don't really have too much of their, they get a little bit of color and some pretty cool patterns to them when they get older. Emerald green, some skunks, and some little baby long thin pandas. And then the pygmies. Then we got the, the pleco wall, we got some royals, and a, a mango right there, and a gray lepocanthus uh, L264. Big old blue phantom, one of my favorites. And see, sternella plecos. I believe this one's the Oyapak. This one's a pretty neat. Chubby, I think, in the back, and a gold nugget way back there. Gold nugget's a little pale. A little baby albino bristle nose. Clown pleco's one of the few that stay small. It's a regular bushy nose. Let's see anything else really interesting? Got a black vampire. L91 beacon. And total spotted albinus. So, over here in the saltwater part, some awesome little nudibranchs. But this red feather star is absolutely beautiful. Yellow tangs, some mustard tangs in there with them, and butterflies. And a little tiny Cortez angel, awesome little guy. <laughs> don't, don't normally see him that tiny. A lemon peel angel as well. Got some clowns back there. Flame Angel, Blue Tangs, so cute when they're tiny. Little Firefish, got this awesome Remora Shark. Big old Powder Blue Tang. Naso tang, yeah, blonde Naso tang. A parrotfish that's kind of just chilling in the corner. Hopefully he's okay. It's a cowfish. Lionfish next to him. The Emperor Angel. I got a whole new load of blubber jellies in here. Pacific thread fin look down. Pretty unique fish. And all the way on the end here, we still got some uh, blue spotted jawfish along with the mandarin gobies. And some uh, dragonette blennies. We got some pretty nice looking peacocks. 
nice bright blues. And then the super red parrots. Big old chubby faces. Alright, so now in the upstairs, we've got some of these nice uh, local bred black Moscow guppies. I actually brought home uh, two pair of them yesterday. We also got some, uh, some local bred rams and apistos. Then next we got some angels, some black lace, and I think Philippine blues. They kind of look like uh, hybrids. And got some neons, a bunch of gold neons, a couple of regulars. The cardinals and rummy nose. And the discus. Beautiful, beautiful discus. Week. We didn't get too much in the oddball section up here. We got another African butterfly, banjo cat, silver hujetagar, got some hoplo cats. These guys are funky looking. Little tiny red terror, silver and uh, green scat, night goby. Got a flag tail porthole cat, a whip tail cat, keyhole cichlid, some Dabawi cats, and with the Pisto Borelli blue back there, some red paradise and some albino paradise, shadow fin cats. South American Gar. Got some various rams, some German blues, and some gold. Some balloon rams. Electric blue balloons. And uh, peacock gudgeons. And a uh, gold face uh, electric blue ram. Tenopoma. Little tiny uh, stone catfish. A little Fajaca pupper, a little baby. A albino giant garami. The pike cichlid behind it. The elephant nose. So we got a couple different kinds of Julitochromis. Awesome little guys. And then a little baby double trunk mormorid. Really cute little guy. Also had a really big elephant nose. Might have to move him over. <laughs> big old guy. Some American flag killies. A spotted head stander. Some more Dubawi cats. So now over here, this big guy got brought in the other day. A giant African lungfish. What a funky looking guy. He's probably three feet or so long right now. They can get a bunch bigger too. Probably three, maybe four feet. Pretty friendly guy though, he hasn't he seems to only eat pellets and stuff. He doesn't really go after any of the, the peacocks that are in here with him. And of course, got the tiger shovel nose hybrid and the regular tiger shovel noses. Got a redhead cichlid and uh, some butter coffee. Big old butter coffee. And more peacocks, African peacocks. Bucktooth tetras, the exodons. Vicious little guys. Here are the ghost knives, the 
saw earlier coming in. Some uh, Tanania peacocks. Whole bunch of black bar silver dollars. The red hook back there behind them. Demont and I. Some uh, five star general with some Synodonis back there. Bunch of Du Bois cichlids. blue, red zebras, got a Megalodorus or Winnie cat, not something you see every day, a black feather fin knife, got some more of the freshwater pipe fish, definitely a fun fish, mine at home are doing great. Hey guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm sorry for the late upload. Um, I had some maintenance calls come up and uh, right after I filmed, so I didn't have a chance to edit. And also my editing software uh, was all screwed up, so I had to try something new, which is why this uh, came out a little weird. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and um, I'll be coming with another video pretty soon.